so pretty. I never imagined being outside the city would be this wonderful. God. You know, I feel quite weird. I'm so used to being so tense and on the run and ready to fight, but here it's it's so free. Like I don't have to worry about anything. Nothing at all. You know... It's been a few months after that attack. And honestly, I didn't expect to get out of there alive. Yet here I am. I have to be here for a purpose. That has to be it. There's got to be a true reason why I'm still alive. Still alive when others aren't. Maybe it's just a matter of time before I meet my fate. Who knows? But you know what? I'm just grateful that I'm still alive. You know, when I was in that building, fighting those people, I saw fear in their eyes. Genuine fear. I don't want it to be this way. I don't want people to see us as these horrible monsters. I despise using my powers against my own kind, but I had to. For my safety and for yours. God. No, I didn't kill them. I know, I'm sorry. I should have told you right away, but... I didn't want to scare you. And I had a reason why I didn't kill them. Also, I couldn't bring myself to do so. I knocked them out and placed them to the side, far from harm, and... Even though they were trying to kill me, I feel as if if I do the same, I'm just as bad as them. And they were only doing what they were told. It's not fair to be killed over something that you don't want to fight for. One of them were hesitant. She looked me in my eye and just... She was hesitant. No, I... I let her free. I know that is dangerous, but... I can tell when someone is genuine. She didn't want to hurt me. She didn't want to. The real enemy is not those who come to attack, but those who order the attack. Those who truly believe that wiping us out is the only solution. They are the true enemy. They are the ones that told society that it's better off if we were dead. And guess what? Society believed them because they were scared. Those who are scared are easy to lead because they have nothing else to follow. I don't blame my family. I don't blame my friends. They have every right to be scared. I just want to let them know that I love them and I would never harm them. In the city, I felt like a trapped bird in a cage. But here, I am free. I am free to spread my wings and fly. Free from all the judgment, the hate, the pain, the anger. All of it. These past few months, ever since the event, I've been reflecting. I was fortunate enough 
to have lived and escaped. Some people aren't so lucky. However, some of those people have survived. I know of it. And they're hiding in the city. I want to go back there and just help them, but I don't know what to do. I'm living this peaceful life. I'm finally free from all the pain that this world has given me. Yet, I want to go back there and save them. I have a few options. I can stay here and live a peaceful life, or go back into the city and try to change it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. But there are people out there that are still trapped. People out there still hiding. Still scared. And society itself is being manipulated as we speak. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I need to go back there. The ones who had to die, their deaths will be in vain if I don't do anything. There's got to be something. I don't know, but I'll figure out something. You want to join me? I... But... I don't want you to. If you involve yourself and get caught, you will be killed. Do you understand? You were always so kind to me. Even when we first met that day, you were so kind to me. You accepted me for who I was, and... You think this is something to die for? You have a chance to live a peaceful life. Please, just take it. I can handle this by myself. You are truly the reason why I have any hope left. Thank you for reminding me that there's still a chance that we can still change the world. Throughout this whole journey, I've been so doubtful, yet you were so optimistic. You told me everything would be okay. It would always remind me how I survived and... <laughs> you really do remind me of him. <sighs> if only he was still here. <sighs> He's watching over us. I just know it. I feel it. Even when he was gone, he was watching over me, making sure that I was safe. Typical him. I want to make sure that his death is not in vain. He died fighting for this cause. I will continue his legacy. And with you by my side, there's nothing stopping us. We're doing this for him and everyone else who had to die and suffer. 
and everyone else who has been manipulated. Look there. The moonlight. Isn't it so... beautiful? I don't know why, but I feel so safe under the moonlight. It's so soft and gentle. My mother taught me this phrase. Everyone is like the moon. They all have a dark side, which they never show to anyone. Well, I'm here to show who I truly am. And I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of who I am and who I've become. I'm gonna use the fact that I'm different to make a difference. We are going to change the world. And no one is going to stop us. <sighs> it's settled then. I'm going to rally up survivors from the city and bring them here. I want to make sure they're in a safe place before we discuss anything. <sighs> I'm letting you know again, you can step out of this. Because once you're part of it, it's done. I knew I wouldn't change your mind. Fine then. Then I might as well get this out of the way then. Listen. These last few months have been so... dramatic and... horrible and... traumatizing, but... When I'm with you, all of that just fades away. All of it. And I trust you. And I... Never mind, I just... I think you're extremely special to me. And I want you to have this. It's a ring that my father has crafted for me when I was very little. He told me to give it to that one special person in the future. And I want you to have it. Um, of course, um, if you want to accept it. You too? <sighs> okay. Here, let me put it on your finger. <sighs> it's a perfect fit. <sighs> Listen, after all of this is over, let's start something new, together. <sighs> we can do this. I know we can. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video, and I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Here's a few quick thanks to my new patrons. Also, a quick thanks to Timothy C for being part of my Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. Now. First and foremost, I'm so sorry for taking so long for the ghoul ending, but I really do hope you enjoyed it because I really liked recording it. I love this character so much and there possibly might be a new ending. Who knows? But for now, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.